What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome to Resident Evil 3. I'm a little late to the party, but I'm here nonetheless. Well then. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern region of the U.S. Umbrella. Commitment, honesty, integrity, and look at this cheeky mofo right here, man. For umbrella. Mm -mm -mm. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. It's crazy how one company could do so much. Nemesis. Yep. Resident Evil. Oh man, and here we are. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep. Code name Nemesis. Alrighty. Waking up in my apartment. Seeing my anime inspiration on the wall is the first thing I see. Get me ready for the day. Alarm clock. My busted ass TV. Oh, and here we are. Ugh. Alrighty. My posters of powerful females. Ooh. My wall of mayhem. All the conspiracy theories. Is Umbrella at the center of it all? My speakers. Or I blast my tunes. You know, gotta rock that baby shark. And then the bathroom where I handle the bit. Who that? Wait a minute. Hold on. Do I have a roommate? Because I know for a fact I would not have left the water running. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, Jill, what's happening to you? Oh, damn. Now, take into consideration that that is probably what it would look like if you were going through something like that and you were alive still. Like, your vision would get all fucked and blurry and everything. And then that would probably be what you'd do next. Not gonna lie. Because nobody's gonna want to see that through. Nobody. Gets worse every night. Yeah, bad nightmares. Now I got my desk of conspiracy theories. And my little puppy. Pinky. That's what we're gonna name the dog. Pinky. My TV is still almost busted. No, it's still pretty busted. What's going on out there? I have no idea, sweetheart. Well, technically I do, but uh, I don't want to spoil things for you. Investigation notes. 
pharmaceutical company, industry leader in market share, focuses on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company also secretly developing bioweapons. T-virus outbreak at Arclay Mountains Research Facility predicted the mansion ex incident from Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil Zero. Conspiring with Raccoon City leadership, large donations to Mayor Warren's office effectively controls the city. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Jill's report. It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I found will prove to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. The T-Virus. Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from an infected individual, allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Contact with crows, which have eaten infected carrion. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulties sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation. Ah, that's what that's what it was. Okay, so she was having a nightmare that the the uh that the infection was starting to take her. Unsealed envelope. They've got me pinned down at home, guys. Across the street are watching me from their window 24-7. Are they Irons men? Umbrellas? I don't know. And there's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I, w I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed or whatever, it is they to... It is, or whatever it is they do to people like me, you must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files. They'll tell you everything you need to know as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. I hope my, uh, hope my, com uh, my compadre who wrote that note got out. Man. Leftover pizza and everything. Put that stuff in the microwave. I don't eat pizza cold. Bite me. <laughs> to Jill Valentine. Hey, hotshot, how you holding up? I still can't believe Irons suspended you. It's such bullshit. He ought to pin a medal on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Of course, you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the force. When the chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it that you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad Vickers. Stars Alpha Team, now and forever. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the boys. Hey! Appreciate ya! <laughs> Can I leave now? No, do I still have more reading to do? In an all-white house, check out the blue fridge. <laughs> Freaking love it. Oh, I have to come in here and turn this light on. Oh, make sure my face is all intact. There she is. Looking good, Jill. Looking good. No infection... No nothing. Alrighty. September 28th, 8.07, Raccoon City. Who could that be? Where is my phone at? Oh, right there. This Hello? is Big and Black Services. Oh, Once you okay? go black, you never right. go back. How may I direct your call? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Whoa! Oh, 
Yeah, there's my gun. <laughs> there's my gun. Nope. Oh. 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 Run, girl. What am I talking about? Run me. <laughs> Nope. Whoa! Okay. This is off to a fun start. Nemesis just yeeted debris at me, and it almost took my everything off. Nope. Yeah, because this is when everything starts. My dude, hold on tight. Can I go and save him? I mean, I can't leave my brother hanging like that, literally. Oh, that actually made me jump. That actually made me jump. No, I don't want to get tentacle. Don't tentacle my booty. Run, Jill. Don't look back at it. Run. Running, 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 running. Ow! All I gotta say is my ass would have been caught. My ass would have been caught. I am, hey! I am too fat for a chase scene. All the adrenaline in the world couldn't save my ass. Jesus. Oh my god. Why are we looking at it from his point of view? What what it what exactly was I supposed to be doing there, if anything? I couldn't tell if I was supposed to be bobbing and weaving or or what. Get out of town. And I... Over here. Hey, what's up? Brad. Thanks for the warning, bro. You okay? What was that thing? Damn if I know. But right now it's got a hard-on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. Yeah. So why are we going in the opposite direction of where people are running? One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like our play on steroids. I am a bit. All right, disaster. Mars Carlisle's off duty. Bad luck game. Yeah. Brad, you're a STARS member. Don't die like a rookie. There's so many. Hell no, I'm running. It doesn't show that I have a gun. Woo. Oh, come on, bruh. Oh, he already dead, though. Don't think about it. He's already dead. We're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! To the end, man. To the end. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm gonna miss Brad. Brad was a... Okay. I thought this was gonna be a zombie. Locked and loaded. Yep. Alright, let's hope my aim is better than it was in the remake. In the, uh, demo. Yep, sure is. I'm not gonna sit here and waste all of my ammo. Because I know the freaking... The freaking, uh, physics of the damn zombies. 
There was no point. Can I crawl? Thank you. There would have had to have been a way for me to go. I am avoiding all that I can avoid. Okay. I mean, there's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there. So you're going to stay in here and starve. The only safe place is in here. I mean, bruh. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. You just want to steal my safe house. Get your own, Missy. I mean, Missy? you act like there ain't enough room, bro. Please calm down. I'm a police officer. I'm here to help. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you've been doing a bang up job. You want to help? Go handcuff yourself to one of those freaks. Nah, bro, I mean, I, I, I can't leave you behind. Sorry. This is your last chance. Yeah, I mean, I'm the trying. This is coming for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death than here to be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone! And with that, the prompt disappears. Alrighty, I tried. Give me this handgun ammo. Do they still have the knife durability? I don't know if they do anymore. Which, in my honest opinion, is a good thing. Because that knife durability was... I'm sorry, it was crappy in the freaking, uh, in the second game, or the, the Resident Evil 2 remake. Commando. Oh! Get the fuck back. You cannot have my flesh. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. You died on the job. Damn. Keep your ticket with you. All right, let's. Whoa! Hey, get the fuck off me! Shit! Damn it! Get the fuck off me! Ow! Damn it! Sit down! Oh god, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> That's what I get. I should, like, would I have been able to avoid these guys? I am completely out of ammo. I mean, I, I could have avoided them. In all honesty, I could have. I could have. Get back. I could have avoided them. Let's just be honest. But no. I had to go guns blazing and burn through all of my ammo. Ain't that a bitch. Ain't that a bitch. Hey, hey, get in. Woo! A helicopter in an apocalyptic situation that actually wants to help people. <coughs> well... Now you know why they never do. Now you know why they never do. Because it would have never happened. Sorry. Let me hop in this General Lee right here. Come on. Come on, Bessie. Start, damn it. Come on, old girl. I know you can start. It's my turn, bitch. Yeah! Put the pedal to the metal. Well, that was short-lived. You can't hold me. I have the power of horsepower. <laughs> Ow. You already know that hurt.
Damn, I cannot imagine being in this scenario. Ooh, I like the pretty colors. Yeah, and then that's when it reveals what he looks like. Because his trash can gets burned. I mean, that thing had four barrels on it. Did you really only have two shots? You should have came loaded with that sucker. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. <clears throat> We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? Down in the subway, My right? guys have converted some subway cars into yep. a shelter. This is where the, the uh, demo started. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. <laughs> Tyrant of oh, the deep. On. Hell squid. Dipshit to close this. Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. I hope you have hey, uh, you know ammo, cause I don't. Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. He knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that, in a man? Ha! Ah. No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Yeah, not a whole you lot of people knew. Me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? I'm pretty sure, like, a whole lot of people huh. in He's Umbrella right. didn't know jack shit. And it was like a select few people that knew about this. Uh, just a select few. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Yep. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS platoon leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent yeah. to rescue civilians. And you got a little fucked up on nice. the way here. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction. Undead. <laughs> My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. I got this. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, <coughs> not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Joe. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. <laughs> first things first. I we need to get you geared up. I completely and remember. Extra, you'll find supplies there. All of this. All right. I I remember all of this. Ammo crafting guide. Da -da 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 -da. Gunpowder two. Gunpowder high grade. High grade gunpowder. Sweetness. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, speaking of ammo, I am in need of some. In the worst way. 
gosh, man. I, I remember when I played the freaking, uh, the demo and a freaking, I knew, I know about that already. And, uh, Nemesis just came out of nowhere. At least I have an idea of where I'm going now. So this part, I'll be able to just mentally see where I have to go. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Whoa! Hold up now! They didn't give me all these goodies last time. Green herb, green herb, gunpowder. Okay. <clears throat> gunpowder. Alright, what's in here? Red herb. Okay. I gotta remember how to open the freaking... How to open the... How to... How to open... There it is. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take this. We're going to combine this with that. So I'll have that for later. Uh, we're going to move it there. We're going to take this gunpowder. We're going to combine it with this. And we're going to move that right under there. Then I'm going to take... I'm going to... I'm going to... There we go. I'm having to remember my buttons. Ooh, what's in here? Oh. Oh, this has like a like a like a lock on it. What? What could that be? This early in the game? <clears throat> I might have to. That was just the herbs and stuff. I know how to do those. I might have to look around for a bit. Really? Oh, here we freaking go with this stuff already. So by the look of this, it looks like there are other pieces that you have to... It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right... Yeah. There it is. Exactly. All right, save data. And that starts our first instance into this game. The first save... I need to keep an eye out for what could open this because I really want to know what's in there. I really want to know what's in there. I'm going to double back real quick and see if there was something around. So I didn't see anything back there. I was curious because of, well, there are different things in the game now because this is the actual game now. So I was a little curious. Run, big boy. Gotta get that train moving. Yeah, we do. And I gotta make sure that I conserve my ammo and make every shot count. Don't burn through it if I have to. <clears throat> and pay attention to the world around me because there could be, you know, secrets and stuff for me to pick up, things for me to unlock, etc., etc. But there are some fights that you just can't avoid. Like this one. Wait! How do you use being shot to get closer to me? Ah, okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? Get on the ground. Fuck off. So I can't kneecap you, sadly. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna freaking die, y'all. <laughs> Get out of my face. I am gonna freaking die. <laughs> I am gonna so die, and I barely started the game. This is not good. This is not good at all. This is now locked, too. Can I use the knife? Raccoon Tunes. That's a freaky looking raccoon. Oh my gosh. There is so much now. Oh man, there is so much. Let's grab that. Be wary of the barrel. But I'll save that for later. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. 
Surely you don't drink water like yourself and put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, so there are bolt cutters that I gotta find. There's like something to unlock something. And I know once I find it, I can go back and open that, uh, I can go back and open that chest. But I'm gonna wait until everybody is nice and close to this air barrel. Gather round. And burn them down. Just like so. Right, are there any other doors that I can't go into? So I can't go in there. I can't go in there. So I have to go down. Uh, there's That place is on fire. So I literally have to just go down this way. Wait. Can I step over this? No, of course I can. Because mechanics never work that way. Mechanics never freaking work that way. Anybody else notice that? That you can't just step over stuff. It's so physically possible in real life, but in game mechanics, no. They need you to be able to have an obstacle in front of you. <clears throat> All right, if I remember right, this safe combination, drugstore owner, that's a string of violent incidents, has me worried. <clears throat> yeah, the Aqua Cure Queen. So in that store lies the uh, gunpowder. Nice. In that store lies the uh, the code, and I actually want to go in there, get the code, and then uh, actually see what's in there. Because I didn't do that in the remake, or the, the demo. This is the remake. I shot you in the face! I mean, I'm not going to be able to avoid every fight, but I tell you what, I'm going to have to do some serious conservation of ammo because my aim sucks dick. Wait, hold on. I actually want to kill this guy. And let me tell you why. Because I remember when I played the demo, I did not kill this guy. And he blocked the door. And I couldn't get back through, and I had to restart the uh, the demo all over again. Make sure he's dead. Yep. He's not dead. <clears throat> That's why I did that. That's why I stabbed him. To make sure he was dead. Now he's dead. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's a knife uh, durability now. So at least I can make sure that if I kill a zombie and I need it to be dead, it's going to stay dead. But man, I need to work on my aim though. There we go. Let's see if you're dead. Yep. You're dead. Is there a box over here? There's this barrel right here. That I'm going to use to blow these guys up. Crowd around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. <laughs> hey! 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 I stabbed you like three times. How are you going to just sit there and lay there like that? For me to turn my back. And then you decide, oh, wait, I'm not dead. I'm gonna jump back up and bite you. Freaking ridiculous. Are you dead? Yep, you're dead. Wasn't there a zombie in here? Yep, right there. Gotta reload. Sit it down. There we go. And there's the hose. Yep. <clears throat> there's the hose. What was in here? Oh yeah, the shoddy was in here. Employee memo, got the shotgun, cut the chain. I still have to find the freaking bolt cutters, but here's the shotgun at least. 
So at least I have found where that is, but I gotta go and find the, uh, find the daggum bolt cutters. Which shouldn't be too, too hard. I think I remember where they are. This must be the subway company's offices. Yeah, that's right, but the, uh, the power isn't on or whatever. Railway manual. The station at which the train will stop as well. well. Track segment will be used. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to come back in here. They still left those donuts in the game, I see. Huh. Nothing. Alrighty, so at least I know exactly where I have to go now. So now it's just the matter of finding what I need to find. Oh no, the bolt cutters are in here. They should have been. Fancy box. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make sure to open that. I'm gonna make sure to open that. Yeah, examining items. Examine. Is there anything on the bottom? Anything on the top? They, it actually rattles? That's cool. A red jewel. Looks like it's made to be slotted into something. I think I may know where that needs to go. I think I know where that needs to go. Hold on a second. I'm gonna put that in here. And I'm gonna go back to that, uh, I'm gonna go back to that part in the very beginning. And I'm gonna see if I can slot it in that little, that little pinwheel looking contraption, whatever the heck that was. But before that, hey, get off my ankles. I'm gonna come over here. High grade gunpowder ammo. Yep. That helps make the shotgun ammo. Aqua Cure. Nine left, three right, seven left. Nine, three, seven. Alright, so. The agenda goes as such Put Old Man Howard down on his butt. Next, go to the left nine. To the right three, and then to the left seven. And then, I'm gonna go and find that jewel. And, and uh, go back and do that jewel. Three, seven. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. Hey, the dot sight? Oh, but my freaking inventory's full. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. I'm going to open this. I'm going to take this, combine this with that, make that double green, and then I'm going to take the sight for the handgun. Heck yeah, man. Adds a sight to allow for more precision when taking aim. That should help. But with my aim, it may just be an accessory. Ha ha! I knew it! Hey, and it's a hand grenade. Look at that. I knew it. I knew that there was something that that, I knew that that had to go in there. I mean, it looked at first like it was supposed to have like four others, but man, I'm pretty damn good, ain't I? Let's go up here. I never got around to seeing what was up this way. Uh... I hear that noise. Green herb. Is that like a zombie just like... Scraping? What? What is that? Oh, it's a zombie eating. I mean, I don't mean to uh, interrupt a brother in his last meal, but you know, I had to do it. <clears throat> I had to do it. More gunpowder. 
At least they're giving me gunpowder. Let me uh, combine that with that. Let me combine that with that. And I'm going to pick up this. So coming up here wasn't all that... Hey, a ladder! Oh, it just... It doubled me back. That is cool. Gotta put this out. It doubled me back. Alrighty, let's move on. Because I don't think there was anything else. I couldn't find the bolt cutters or nothing. And all of the other doors I could have went into was locked. Okay, so this is the way we have to go. We pair. What a shocker there. There are the dadgum bolt cutters. And here is a save slot. I put the grenade that I found. Is someone in here? They are gonna have to freaking wait. Can I take bolt cutters? To... No. <laughs> I knew you couldn't. <laughs> They're gonna have to wait. Because I have some things to go get. Alrighty. So. I went. Got the shoddy. Found a blue gem, like the red one, and inside the thing when I went and put it in was the tactical stock for the shoddy. Found some, you know, gunpowder and everything along the way, so now we're coming to do this. I got the red dot sight and the tactical stock. Holy shit. That is awesome. Can you be CS? Yeah, careful, careful. Dang, Come you got on, messed up. Got all right. I'm not an effective. No, 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 wait, please. No. Oh. What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars this soft. I wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? Damn. You would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. I mean... Go back to the subway station. I don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. I mean... A part of me... wants to put this shoddy to that dude's dome piece. But another part of me understands. Like, that's the kind of person I am. I'm the kind of person that sees things from both sides. If you're bit, you're gonna turn. You're gonna turn. Unless you hack the limb off, which I don't think has ever actually been done in this universe. So, I don't know how clear-cut those rules would be. I thought that was gunpowder at first. UBSC, UBCS suicide note. The Middle East, Eastern Europe, East Africa. I thought I knew what the, I thought I knew what hell was. Figured I'd never crack, no matter what was thrown at me. But this job, this one was supposed to be easy. A quick wage. I'd earned it. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles, and yet we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I've been through enough shit to know it only gets worse. And if that was just the beginning, maybe I'm a coward. I don't care. This is the only way out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. Dang. That just goes to show you, man, these things may be, you know, lumbering, you know, mindless, brainless zombies, but they're dangerous. Electricians notice. Public use generators provided by Raccoon City Electricians Guild. Due to the ongoing power outages, the guild has decided to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. Everyone is welcome to use them, but remember... These generators are running high voltage currents. If one were to be struck or impacted by gunfire, anyone standing nearby could get electrocuted. You got that? If you see a generator spitting sparks, don't go near it. Don't do anything stupid. 
Safety first as the saying goes. If we make it through this mess, I'll have plenty of busted generators for sale at bargain prices. Damn it, Sam. <laughs> Always try to think of the almighty dollar. But again... All I saw was that blinking light. And all I saw was death coming. Now I know that the generators are not needed to like power anything and they're just an environmental way of killing zombies. Which I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Let's make sure we don't miss anything, any ammo or anything. No. Hey, a box. Look at that. I was about to miss this. Combine. I had been looking for an herb for a while now, too. Switch to the pistola. Nothing in here. Cool. Let us proceed in. Yep, I heard you. Shaniqua, sit down. Sit it down. Sit it down. Sit it down. Everybody needs to just have a seat. I say, where was my cursor going? I swear I need to like chain, uh, turn the sensitivity down. I say, at first, I was thinking you were just going to ignore me, and I was going to let you on your business. But now you've caught me off guard, and I can't aim now. Damn it. <laughs> you caught me off guard, and I lost my ability to aim. This is locked. What's behind this? Nothing. What's behind this? Oh, more gunpowder. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, sit it down. Thank you. All right, how's my inventory looking? Discarding key items. Okay, cool, so I can get rid of this now. Gunpowder. How much uh, handgun ammo do I have? I still have a pretty good amount. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And if I can find uh, some high grade gunpowder, I am hurting badly. <laughs> hey, a freaking, can I combine this with this? No, I cannot. I should not have combined those herbs. Damn it, I should have waited. Uh, use it, pick it up. Damn, man. Ooh, what do we have in here? Facts from Substation Chief. To all employees, in response to the violent outbreaks across the city, we have implemented an intentional power outage. Once the situation has been brought under control, please activate the four breakers ASAP. Once that's done, turn on the main power switch in the control room on the other side to reactivate the power grid. Okay, so this is what we have to do to activate the power then. Making sure there's nothing in here. Hey, there's a safe spot at least. Get that safe spot going. A hip pouch. Nice. That came in clutch. I'm not going to lie. Alright, so how do I turn these damn things on? Are they like in different locations and I have to go and turn them on? Go through the door, Jill. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Like, oh, I don't even want to think about it. Oh. Uh. What the hell is going on here? I mean, I found some more herbs. <laughs> if that me if that makes a difference, I found some herbs. Put that right there. Give me that. Green herbs. They work. It's starting to look like Chad was never going to come back from his rounds. So I poked my head in there and fuck me. Next thing I know, I've got some kind of maggots squirming down my throat. 
I was gagging and heaving, but those little bastards didn't seem to mind none. They just wouldn't come up. I was staggering around like a madman. Then I saw it. The green herb. My grandma once told me that green herbs are a natural bug deterrent. So I grabbed one, shoved it down my gob and swallowed. And what do you know, the little things didn't want to be in there anymore. I was never so happy to throw up. I'm going to head back out there to look for Chad. If anyone else sees this, remember, eat your greens. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, we have something new. Okay, so you're dead. Just making sure. Oh, this looks so nasty. I can't even go in there yet. Is the thing. Like, I can't even go in there yet. Oh. He has the third... Wait, what is that? Whoa! Uh, no. Case. Oh my god. Uh. I want no part of that. So I'm going to go over here. And then I'm going to open this. Lockpick. There are so many locks, man. So many locks. But now that we found that, I'm going to go ahead save once again and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna call this first episode here these will be a little longer because the game isn't very long and i want to go ahead and get it done but one thing that i also heard is that they're going to be uh remastering resident evil 4. so i decided you know what i've already played the remake for resident evil 2. i'm playing the remake for resident evil 3. They're remaking Resident Evil 4, so I decided, why not play it after this game? And then while I'm at it, why not play number 5 after this game? So I'm going to go on a little Resident Evil binge for a little bit, especially after this game. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did... Why not give it a like? Let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing for more of this zombie mayhem? Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.